Dear Acorist, good day. I'm happy you're joining me again uh, for my next case on fish diseases. Today it's already our case uh, 101 because in my work as a fish doctor, I encounter diseased fishes and I try to find solutions for the fish, for the well-being of the fish and also for you as, as a hobbyist that you can be able to to enjoy the, the fun of, of keeping your fish in the best shape. And particularly for those who do fish health management, I hope these uh, little cases are helpful. And today I have something which is very common in our aquarium uh, hobby and in the aquarium industry. It's about bacterial infections. And here, uh, bacterial infection on a Corridora aneus species, in my case, 101. Well, the fish didn't show many disease signs, except that we had losses that became skinny. It's hard to see on the photo, but you can see on the top here, they were skinny and some were dying. This is how the fish were presented to me. But what was remarkable that on some of them, we found those red markings like here indicated on the belly and on the base of the fins. And when we notice these reddish areas, it's something important because this tells us something is going wrong with the fish and it's a very good indicator for bacterial infections. I will explain you when showing here my examinations. And here in the gills, we will see the, the bleeding part here, which is an inflammation, most likely caused by bacterial infections. We also see some irregular gill filaments. So not the best shape of the gills, and some parts of the gills are demolished, are broken away, are necrotic. You see no gill lamella in here, like a hole appeared. Well, this usually is due to bacterial infections. Also, the internal organs had two specks inside, those the dark markings, which we call melano macrophage centers, MMCs. Also, the kidneys here on the right had some black uh, coagulation like blood cloths and which is not uh, normal normally the the kidney should be a, a nice red organ well to suggest uh, the treatment for this kind of fish it's uh, that it's important that we learn to see the red markings because usually uh, they are the first sign that something is going on with a bacterial infection it might be secondary it might be a parasitic infection who is the primary cause. So, so you, an, an examination with a microscope can tell you if you see some parasites moving. In this case, it wasn't. We only found bacterial infections uh, with, with the organs and the gills and the internal organs. Then the sooner you can start taking actions with uh, doing a treatment, the better the outcome will be, the better will be a cure. So try as soon as possible an antibacterial treatment and apply at the same time our Dr. Basley or Biofish Food, the grapefruit seed extract with Moringa or the Fuco, which are two uh, helpful foods that helps the fish to recover during a bacterial infection and to repair its organs. Make sure, of course, that the aquarium water is in good condition and that the filtration is working well and there is no stress on the fish because that all can help in, in the control of the fish as soon as your water conditions are perfect. So this case is hopefully helpful for you and stay tuned and maybe you'll learn more from my Patreon channel where I give you a specific training to become a professional fish doctor. So I appreciate for watching you this video and, and I hope you to continue to be a happy hobbyist and fish keeper. Bye-bye.